All right, what's up, y'all? This is Velarde, and a lot of people on my Instagram and my story said that they want to know how to put their samples on tempo with their beat uh, tempo thing right here with the metronome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this in. There's some random melody. Now, I can easily, it says 98, but not a lot of people are going to be that generous <laughs> and uh, tell you what it is. So if you go to 98 here, just like it says, sometimes you'll, you know, people will help you out and then you see it's on time now. All right. So that sounds good. But if that's not the case, say if you want to like put it on tempo with your beat, because that's what this is specifically for. What you do is you double click this and then you right click here and you go to edit an audio editor and this will bring up Edison. And what you do is you right click, not this part, you right click up here with these words are the title. And then this will come up the sample properties. What you need to press is right click um, on auto detect and click auto detect and then press detection for the songs with constant tempo. So then you press accept, it'll tell you that press accept. And then now it is adjusted to the tempo. So you press this button up here and hold it down and you can drag it. So let me just put it right here. So now, let's see. Right? Okay, so it's still not on tempo. But you have to do that first because now what you're going to do is now you're going to go here and you're going to go to E3, E3 generic. So you went to mode and change that. And then you just change the time, either up or down to fit it. See? Right? So that could be a fast beat. Um, so you can even do that, right? I'm going to show you all another uh, trick real quick. You go to tools and you go to uh, macros. Then you go to... Uh, Switch all audio clips to real time stretching, and it and you click that if and press OK. If you don't click this and then try to change the tempo of everything to be, it'll everything will start to be slower and it'll take everything out of tempo. But now that I press that, it doesn't matter how I change the tempo. Watch this. See what I'm saying? So now you can change the um, tempo of FL and it won't change how it won't mess up and change the timing of the sample. So let's go back. All right. So what I'm going to do now is so we got that like that. Now, it's a little bit too fast for 140. We want it to fit in 140. So that's how you put it on tempo. And remember, if you go to tools, go to macros, you go to switch all audio clips to real time stretching, then you press OK, then it doesn't matter. You can just change this up, the tempo on FL Studio, and it you can make it faster after you have already gone into Edison and, and uh, adjusted the tempo of the sample. <laughs> guys so that is how you adjust your sample to the tempo of fl and also another extra tip on how you um set the real-time stretching so that it doesn't matter what tempo you change it to if it's still slow after you adjust the sample that you can speed it back up or slow it down so i'll see you guys on the next video i hope this helped if you like it give it a like and a comment i'll see you on the next video peace